In this video we'll be demonstrating how to calculate the volume capacity of a grading object. In this particular example we'll be calculating the volume of water in this simple basin. To start with we need to define a water surface. This requires us to create a grading object and apply a simple template. In the drawing I've offset the original polyline which was used to create the grading object so that it sits wholly within the basin. To start with, we need to create a grading object using this polyline. In the form, we provide a name and then we assign a template. In the template editor, I've created a brand new template called Water Level. In there, I've applied a width of 50mm to the left of the centerline and 50mm to the right, with no vertical distance. To complete the template, we need to add a batter which will project onto our basin. I now need to check the direction of the grading object to determine which side the batter projection will occur. On version 1701, there is now an arrow telling me if the direction of the grading object is clockwise or anti-clockwise. In versions prior to 1701, the recommended methodology would be to copy the template and add a batter on the opposite side. As our polyline is clockwise, the batter is on the left side and will project onto our basin. The slopes will be 1 in 10,000 or flat. Now our template is created, we can make sure that the target surface for our batters is the basin and set the water level, in this case 454 meters. Picking Create Update creates the water surface and we can immediately calculate a volume with this. Changing the water level up and down and picking Create Update will give us updated volumes. We can now display the water surface and also label it in Model Viewer. To do this we go to the Design Styles button and create a brand new style called water. We pick our model, which in this case is the water surface, and append codes. By pressing shift and left clicking on the top and bottom row, we can then come down to material groups, pick water from the list, and override selected, and then click OK. To display our water surface, we go to toggle display, Tick on the visibility of our water surface and change the style to water and click OK. To display a dynamic label which shows us the elevation of the water surface, we go to the Labels tab and click on Add. Clicking Set Label Location enables us to pick a location and plan. We then pick the type of label which in this case will be elevation and provide a suffix which is M for meters. We make sure that the surface we're referencing is water level and click OK. The software will then dynamically update with our level. This level will change whenever the surface is updated 